Hello and welcome to a new cast for StarCast TV. Today we will be casting a TVZ between Action, our Zerg player, and JYJ, our Terran player. I'm Boral Blue and joining me is my co-caster, Ingen Pompe. Hello again. Um, we start here on the map Polypoid and in the bottom left we see Action with uh, the blue Zerg pieces. Yes, and we see JYJ here in the top left as the brown Terran. So we are casting a best of three here, with the second game being on Polypoid. Yeah, so action is is up one, and we need to see JYJ take it back so we can get three games to cast, which I'm really hoping for. And we already see that uh, the starting positions work out in a way that action sends his overlord to the wrong direction. So that's already a small victory for JYJ. Yeah, now we see action actually throwing down a very early spawning pool. So this looks like maybe a nine pool that action is throwing down and get, getting a gas here even. Oh, it's a gas trick. Gas trick mm -hmm. now. Yeah, if we remember back to last game, it was. Uh, Rex first, so eight Rex, I think mm -hmm. it was uh, by JYJ. So now we see a hard counter by action this early pool, but in this case JYJ isn't actually doing it. He's playing a again a, a gas build, but with a normal barracks timing. So maybe this early pool won't get as much done as action was hoping for. Yeah, now with this gas timing, it does tell you that the um, Terran will go for a factory before expanding. So that makes you think there will be an early vulture, which could deny these links. But there is a timing for the links to get in there before their first vulture is out and maybe do some damage. So uh, we'll see how much action commits. He has built out these first uh, three links and is taking his gas before expanding. So, and he knows exactly where uh, JYJ spawned, so he's going to send those links over right away, I would assume. The SCV does get in and scout these links on the way, so there's going to have to be some kind of a SCV pull to the ramp, I would say, I would think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely you hold this on the ramp with a few SCVs, and Zerg only wants to put on pressure and is macroing behind this, going for a relatively normal two-hatch uh, gas timing. So he wants to play a pretty normal game, but be safe against early barracks and put some pressure. Yeah, and only three SCVs being pulled to the ramp, but it looks like it's going to be enough as he does force these uh, links back with just a little bit of uh, SCV micro and not even losing one of his SCVs actually. So some good defense there from JYJ perfectly understanding how to hold this early pool aggression or like you said, kind of actually Somewhat of a more macro play, but action is still just adding on links actually and getting link speed. So this may be a link all in. Yeah. Yeah, he tricked me. He's not doing a normal, <laughs> normal two hatch play. He's actually link all inning from here on. So I would assume that the plan is to wait to see that um, Terran is confident to move out and then to swamp him with links when, when he's out. Yeah, and JYJ behind this, he does have a Vulture and is getting a Starport. So this Vulture, you know, is good against Lynx, but one Vulture alone against a big swarm of Speedlings is not going to get it done. And we see the add-on here, and um, most likely will go into Wraith production, I would assume, on that Starport, or maybe get a Vulture drop. There is actually no Sunken though at the front, so if this Vulture makes it all the way in here, these Lynx need to block this ramp. Yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't dare. A pity, a uh, big chance missed. But now let's look what the links do. Yeah, here's the big counterattack. Uh, as you were mentioning, if they are able to get up this ramp, this could be deadly for this, the Terran player. And here we go, the links get right on these Marines. The Vulture coming back, but it's not really enough. Here's one marine being guarded by SCVs actually forcing those links back but the links have made it into the Terran main so this is just exactly where Zerg wants to be right now on top of this barracks denying any marines that are coming out here comes one wraith but what's that really going to do against a swarm of Zerglings in your base the vulture microing its little heart out 
Exactly, and if he holds this, he already has over double the worker count. True. So it's actually not as good as it looks <laughs> for, for Zerg. Ah, uh, but losing that one Vulture. Oh, here comes the second one, though. So he's really got to depend on this Vulture to hold. Oh, GG is called, so Action sees that Wraith and calls it. Wow. Yeah, he lost all of his links, and with good micro, it really even Infinity links can't, can't kill that. Interesting. So there's good game call by uh, action there. Which gives, gives us a third game, which is good because this game wasn't uh, entirely up to standard. It was rather short. <laughs> let's hope for a longer next one. Okay, so let's get right into that game three that we can just continue on and I'll host up the third replay. So that was such a short game. We'll keep it in the same video. Okay, so here we are getting into game three right away after that uh, kind of quick and exciting game two. And so here we have uh, another game between our two players, Action and JYJ. And we see JYJ spawning in the top middle as the Teal Terran. In the bottom left, we see Action. He is uh, the yellow Zerg. And what was the map? I didn't catch the map. Uh, ah, it's New Silphid. Yeah. yeah, it's New Silphid. I haven't played that in a while, but it's it's a nice map. Yeah, a good three-player map. Used to be a lot more common, uh, kind of not as common these days, but still a good map. Now, the notable thing about this map is it is kind of hard to defend your bases from Mutilus Karas, I would say. Or at least a lot of Terran players feel that way. <laughs> Just due to the base layout and some of the like cliffs that the Zerg players can abuse. Yeah, for me the most notable feature of the map is that between main and natural there isn't a ramp but only just a, a choke. Mm. So so that always in some matchups matchups it really changes the dynamics. Like in ZVZ for example, you you can't easily uh, blockade a ramp. Yeah, we do see uh, another early Rax coming out here for JYJ, and it uh, looks like a depot at the kind of wall location. So an early Rax will look to put pressure onto action. Action this game not going for an early pool, as we saw in the previous game. So kind of unlucky openings here for action, kind of getting maybe just mind games a little bit by his opponent. Yeah, but if we remember back to game one, the the defense was picture perfect. He didn't True. lose a single drone, and he even countered uh, with circlings, managed to clean up the marines. So, yeah, I'm not sure <laughs> which is the counter. Yeah, the 12 hatch might be the counter, right? Because the the nine pool game didn't actually work out for action. So, uh, yeah, as you're saying, maybe he is more comfortable playing 12 hatch. Here we see yeah. JYJ getting his gas, sending out a scouting SCV, and sending his first marine directly towards the uh, Zerg base. Gonna pick up or catch this overlord, I should say. I was wondering about this. So he's walling his um, his passage between the main and the natural. I guess also he will land the barracks over there to mm -hmm. get a, a tight wall. Yeah, he's gonna complete the wall with his racks. Yeah, pretty smart. And getting oh, where where did he get the overlord? I heard a dying sound, but yeah. So basically, the two marines cross paths with the overlord right outside at the third location for the Terran. So the overlord was kind of right in the path of these two marines, so it easily got picked off there, and it was too slow to get out of the way. So kind of unfortunate uh, pathing there for action with that first overlord, and that can be very important in this matchup. Using that first overlord can be, you know, quite a drawback. And now yep, we see, yeah. Is. But the links are about to hatch, and there's no no bunker inside. Yeah. So those marines going all in, trying to get one drone kill, kind of didn't really, uh, I guess, micro them or didn't conserve them. Sent them right into the mineral line, got the drone kill, and then lost them. So now the marines are dead. And this one SCV is all that remains. The Lings are chasing the SCV away. 
But as we were saying, there is now a complete wall for JYJ. So there's these links are very ineffective. And there's actually two starports coming down now. And also there's a really early Hydralisk den by action. I'm not sure what he wants to do. Maybe this is a Hydralisk bust. To hatch Hydra seems very aggressive. Yeah, not very many drones again from action. And here is his first vulture. He's got to get on top of this vulture because if it gets over there and sees there is no uh, sunken and that there is a Hydra den, that's going to be a huge tip off. And right now, yeah, upgrading the Hydras. So not going for lurkers right now, maybe going for a Hydra bust before these raids really get going. But I wonder how this is going to work out here. The Ling scouting this wall seeing that it's kind of safe. And now I think JYJ should construct a bunker, but we'll see. Yeah, there's a bunker going down, so this is going to be a problem now for this uh, Hydra bus to deal with this bunker. Here comes the add-on on the factory, so I guess he can have a, a siege tank at some point. But for now, he's only making wraiths and the bunker. Yeah, and now actually action's kind of uh, droning up a little bit, but also producing some Hydralisks. Still, I think this is a now a favorable position for uh, JYJ as he has got Wraiths out on the field and there's only a few Hydralists to kind of deal with them. And the, the timing for that Hydra bus, which we did see a really early Hydra den, is kind of gone now, I would say. Yeah, I, I wonder if, if that really was the plan or if he smelled the, two, the uh, two starport Wraiths mm -hmm. and, and played it like defensive so that he can get speed. Um, on the Hydra's fast enough. Yeah, I think it may have just been a good read seeing, uh, knowing JYJ's tendencies and the potential play here for a Wraith, the, the see, seeing such a late expansion for Terran, essentially. Yeah, it's pretty late. It still hasn't started. We'll see if it will start at some point. Yeah, actually another barracks going down, so we may be seeing more of a one base play here from uh, JYJ. Or we are seeing a one base play from JYJ. Yeah, it remains to be seen if JYJ does choose to expand at any point in this game. Yeah, that's a build that I often struggle, um, well not often, but that I have struggled against on the ladder where, where they go to star pot wraith. Mm -hmm. and then like three barracks, um, marine and medic behind it. And that hits like a truck if you if you don't manage to defend the, the wraith so well. Yeah, I think you need lurkers to try to hold that kind of a push. And we see lurkers on the way, or at least the upgrade is halfway done for action. So action may be uh, expecting a kind of bio push here to follow up these wraiths, as that is, you know, such a common play once you get these wraiths out you you kind of have to put on some pressure with your bio because you have sacrificed so much to get these wraiths out um, but picking up some drones keeping action to mining on really only one base so a good play from JYJ so far adding to his wraith count yeah and we see that also a spore has been built in the natural so that might allow the hydras to move out eventually or that they don't have to play Nanny for the eco line the whole game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like the play of building a spore. I think it's very uh, safe and it makes it so you don't have to worry so much about using your hydralists, like you said, baby the eco line and like constantly getting uh, drones picked off unless you're on top of your hydra movement. Yeah, also it eliminates the possibility to just snipe the overlord. Um, and then use Cloak to, to do critical damage. Yeah, we do see, do see Cloak out here for the Terran, so if he decides, he could try to Cloak in and uh, pick off some of these overlords in the main. Here he is Cloaking, going into the main, taking some pot shots on some uh, Hydras at the time, for the time being, taking out a couple Hydras. Yeah, so this is why you need a Spore, essentially. This is just very uh, brutal damage going down. But so far, uh, action has hung on. 
Yeah, he smartly has three overlords there, so that's why the raid have you just dived on it. Mm -hmm. Still, though, this kind of, uh, you know, bring around the Rosie and taking out all these drones here as they circle around these overlords has been very effective for these raids for JYJ. And JYJ now with tanks and a good group of Marine Medic, looks like JYJ is going to start pushing out here and grouping up with these raids. There is two lurkers kind of in the pathway between bases. They may be on hold position. We'll have to see here. Yeah, definitely. They'll be on hold. <laughs> and we must remember, since there's only one CC, of course, there's only one scanner. Mm. Yeah. So. Sometimes you see even a, a science facility with these kind of builds for that one science vessel or something. But there is not a lot of gas for uh, JYJ. Yeah, the Wraith have discovered the fact that there are Lurkers and now the scans are pushing them back, but action is spreading them out to force uh, multiple scans and to buy more time. Yeah, that was actually a really nice scan, getting both those Lurkers there with one scan it looked like. And picking off those Lurkers for free with these Wraiths has been very effective so far for JYJ. But now the Hydras and Lurkers are getting together and this is where it becomes scary. If there's enough Hydra Lurk, they can cause problems for this Terran ball, but it doesn't look like Action's been able to macro out enough Hydra Lurker army here, just looking at their army sizes. Also, JYJ seems set in his way to not get a science facility. <laughs> so he's really, really trying to push with this tank marine army and not uh, try to better his tech anymore. And here's a drop of, it looks like, four, eight uh, Hydras and a couple Lurkers going into the main. So this is very uh, ballsy play here as Wraiths are on the field, could easily pick this off. Uh, it looks like something tipped off JYJ as he is seeking up his tanks. Oh, and another tank pops out. So they're going to be able to hold this uh, relatively easily, I would assume. But here are the Hydras and the Lurker getting on that mineral line. Okay, that's the last scan. Oh, and he gets the lurker. Okay, and here's and the, the counter attack. Map? Yeah. Ouch. <laughs> yeah. No lurkers in position, and these marine medics are able to get on top of this Hydra army in the net. Now, actually, kind of move commanding in there. This is very ballsy, but he's taking out these Hydralis, and the Hydras were totally out of position here. No scan is really putting the Terran in a difficult spot. Yeah, scans should be up now again, so you can use one at least. Yeah, this is only the damage, I think. Yeah, I think Terran has it. He's gonna get the hatch, and then it's one base against one base. Yeah, getting this hatchery, and now more lurkers and hydro lurk are out on the map, but. What are they going to do? This, this marine medic force is just camping in his net and he can't even clean this up. And now we see Hydra's, I mean some Wraith going into the main actually. And reinforcement is coming across the map for JYJ who's now macroed out a few siege oh, chains. Overlord, no. Ah, he turns it just in time. His last hope is this drop overlord, but um, I think the marines saw it. So he's going back to his base. Uh, I think that's the last chance. Yeah. We see a drop of a couple overlords heading towards this Terran base, and Zerg is able to actually clean his net, maybe? JYJ is also angry at his starfort, but yes. he's stopping shooting it. <laughs> yeah. Once these lurkers die, I think it's GG. Yeah, and then they go get sniped. They don't even unload the game's call. Yeah, GG. Yeah. Sad. Action had a really nice idea with that drop, but he didn't have a single lurker in his natural to defend against mm. the counterattack. Because he expended all of the scans in his own base, um, JYJ did, so even a single lurker would have stopped the entire counter. Um, so it was really, really on a nice edge there. Yeah, great play by JYJ just to force it into the net there, and he was lucky to find that there was no lurkers there. Uh, thank you all for joining us for this cast here of this best of three. That's it from me, World Blue. And thank you for joining me, Blue Game Pumpkin. And we hope to see you guys in our next cast for StarCast TV. Have a great one. That's it for today. Thank you. Bye-bye.